for today's video we're going to be shooting 7 millimeter 155 grain cutting edge match tactical hunting bullets that were sent to me by one of my subscribers I'll be shooting them out of a 7mm 08 today I'm going to shoot some reduced load simulating longer range first flip my box and then shoot a higher velocity load And we did capture that bullet down there. After it looks like it shed a few petals and then took a tumble. We had it starting to open up at about an inch and a half of penetration, carrying good permanent wound cavity to just pass the 16 inch mark. Uh, we have petal shed at 10 inches, 10 and an eighth inches. And we got another one up here at about 16 and three quarter inches. Bullet right in here took a tumble. It's facing backwards. And that leading edge is approximately 29 and a half inches. I did not load this one down quite low enough. We impacted at about 1,749 feet per second. I know cutting edge will operate well below that. So I will be doing another test on these later, trying to get these moving slower, just testing the bottom end. And you can see where just shed those petals, causing great permanent tissue damage. Still a touch warm, but that bullet was in my high-tech fleece bullet trap, or blanket rolled up in a trash bag. Worked quite well. And that one started to open up at about an inch and three-eighths, carrying that better portion of that permanent wound cavity, too. It's carrying good permanent wound cavity. We've got more additional fragmentation up here that's interesting. About to 24 inches. Um, over 31 inches of total penetration through the box before the blanket caught it. The larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is 
only three and a half inches there. And where it seems like the bullet did some additional fragmentation down here, we're still at two inches on that permanent wound cavity. Uh, forgot to mention that on that lower velocity one. And that is a good two and a half inches on that better portion. But when you look at the bullet fragments that carry permanent wound cavity out, you're at about four inches. So velocity-wise, that increased velocity did not seem to do any um, additional dumping of energy uh, over the lower velocity load. We've got really similar performances. And that one was impacting the gel at roughly 2,634 feet per second. Overall, cutting edge bullets are some of the best monolithic bullets I've ever tested for what they do in gel. Only issues I've ever had is with newer rifles, tighter tolerances for accuracy and whatnot. Your free bore is not enough to uh, work with that seal tight band. It catches, so you have no bullet seat depth adjustment to work with. But other than that, great bullets. If they shoot accurately, they're going to drop game well. And uh, there's the proof. Overall, good performing bullet. Hope you guys. Thank <laughs> you.